video we in this video we're going to do a brief introduction to the um, software Maxima it's a symbolic mathematical software that could be very useful for solving problems in engineering and science to launch Maxima open the start button in Windows and look under DM you'll find a folder that either says Maxima with a number or Maxima computer algebra system this is the one that I currently have active so we'll open that up and you find three six seven different um, buttons to try here the one you want to use for sure is WX Maxima that's the UI for Maxima there's a simple UI there is a, this is a, just a, a manual you can click on it and, and download a PDF file uh, this is uh, information about the software license a command line configure default Lisp Lisp is the language in which Maxima is written and this one will take you online so is this one WX Maxima GUI the one you want to use and when you open that up <clears throat> you get you get this interface this interface has a, a lot of parts that I have uh, shown I'm going to show you in a diagram right here you have a total of 10 windows that I have uh, or, or pieces that I have identified number one is just the title line it's the number two is this collection of menus number three is an icon bar with some operations number four it's a palette with Greek letters useful for writing mathematical expressions number five is a number of mathematical symbols that can be used to build mathematical operations in Maxima number six it's a palette about uh, plotting graphics using a system called draw a series of, of um, commands called draw and we're going to talk about those in more detail number seven is a bottom line here that provides some information like the um, is ready for input ready for user input number nine is a table of contents when you start building up a document with sections and subsections you're going to see the table of contents in this number and number 10 is what is called a, uh, a, a tip of the day window a tip of the day window will give you information about the use of, of Maxima and you can move to a, a next tip here and another next tip and so on uh, most of the time you should simply floss it off and then you're ready to use Maxima and, and so there you have the, the title window or the title line the menus and, and so on we're going to talk about those menus um, as we provide examples of those menus but you, you can you can open your maximum and start looking at the contents of those menus I have a, um, a figure here showing the different menus if you want to take a, a screenshot of that you can it will be useful to have the reference that's just four of those menus then I have a second window that shows four more additional menus as you can see the there is a file which is traditionally most software there's the edit which also is kind of traditional most software then this is called view and it, it, it's, it helps you select what windows are available in your interface then you have the cell menu which will uh, allow you manipulate the the different components of the interface which are called cells in the second set of menus you have one called maxima which uh, has to do with the operation of the software itself you can interrupt the calculation you can restart maxima uh, and and begin afresh and some other things then you have these three equations algebra and calculus that are actually applications in mathematics equation have to do with solving equation finding roots finding polynomials solving ordinary differential equations solving initial value problems initial value problems with two conditions boundary value problems for second order equations ordinary differential equations will last uh, algebra this is actually means mostly linear algebra matrices characteristic polynomial determinant eigenvalues eigenvectors and so on 
For calculus, you have integration, change of variable, differentiation, limits, minimum, uh, series, power series, calculations of sum and product, Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform, and so on. And then we have some other menus here, which is a, the simplify menu. It's actually a lot of algebraic manipulation, manipulation of trigonometric expressions and complex numbers. List has to do with creating lists by using a rule. For example, you can create uh, what is similar to vectors in reality. Plot is a counterpart to the to this plot in the interface. This plot use something called draw. These plots use something called plot, which is a different approach, but they produce very similar graphics. And then you have this numeric menu it had to do with precision, converting to floating point numbers and so on. And then you have a help menu, which will give you information about the operation of the software. And so I just wanted to give you this very brief introduction to the menus and, and, and how to launch uh, WX Maxima. Uh, I should mention that Maxima itself, it's the core of the, pro, of the uh, solving uh, software, uh, the one that provides you with solutions and so on. WX Maxima is an interface solamente. So just make careful to keep uh, that distinction uh, aware. And with that, we'll finish this brief introduction to Maxima.